Hey everyone, Rocco here, bringing you a different kind of video than you see seeing on the channel. I know it's been a while. Uh, this isn't drawing related or questing related. Uh, this is a project that I've been working on for the last few months. I started it at the end of last year, and I've been kind of slowly developing it up in my free time up until this point. Uh, so this is an application for viewing public photos from RecNet, um, but without actually going to RecNet. And so what you do is you can download and install this application. When you open it up, this is the page you'll come to. Um, you just simply type in your username up here in the box. So I'll use mine, do Rocco, press enter, or you can hit the load images button. It'll spin for a second, and then it loads up um, a grid view of all your images. So the equivalent of this on RecNet is if you come out here, it's this three-lined icon. This is your user photo feed. So that's what I call it up in here. And on RecNet, it's a single column display um, for you know, photos that others took of you. Uh, sometimes it also is photos that you took yourself. So you can see right there, I took this photo. It's coming back out on here. It's an infinite scroll, so you can scroll as far down as you want. It just keeps loading images as you scroll. If you want to see more information about an image, simply click on that image. It takes just a second to load. Now we have that full resolution image, so you can view it, uh, the full version of it. Instead of that thumbnail, and then we have the image ID, where it was taken, if it was taken at an event, who all appears in that image. We have the list right there. Cheer count, comment count, and the date it was taken. So this was two months ago. And I also included at the bottom here a RecNet link. So if you click on that link, it'll open up in your default browser. It takes you straight out to RecNet. So if you want to do set an old profile picture, for example, or a banner, you can go ahead and do that right there. Quick and easy to find. Coming back out on this application, we'll click off of that, we'll scroll back up to the top. And now I'll switch over, these buttons are all toggles, so I'll switch over to my uh, user photo library. Actually, real quick while we're here, I want to show off this oldest to newest button. If you switch that there, now it's displaying oldest to newest. Press load images. And now we're going to see images from my photo feed that were the first ever images to appear. Um, so we have this really old one here. It's so old, it doesn't have any activity information. Um, this was before they actually implemented that. Uh, no event data, it's just myself. It's actually in Lost Skulls, as you can tell. This is in that cage part of the lobby. Um, it's taken three years ago, RecNet link right there. So many of you that have been around for several years will know that these images get lost because you usually have to scroll for what seems like forever on RecNet and it's kind of slow so it takes you a while to get there but with this application you can simply just toggle that button there and it will quickly get you to your old photos uh, quickly and efficiently so if we switch back over here we'll go to user photo feed I'll toggle that back to newest to oldest and now we're viewing photos that I myself took and published out to RecNet um, same thing, same deal here. Infinite scroll, click on images to view those images. I also have the global photo feed, which is the equivalent of the RecNet homepage. So if you go to the homepage here on RecNet, click on the Rec Room logo there. It'll take just a moment. So this is the homepage, displays photos. Um, they're usually pretty recent, but they have a high tier count. So if we load that up here, I'm on the photo feed, load it, and you'll see that same image popped up right there, so you can click on it. it takes just a moment to load, RecNet's kind of slow apparently today. Same deal, image ID, event information, cheer count, comment count, photo link. So the next thing I want to get into is if I come back here to my photo feed, whoops gonna expand down here we have filters so it's that little bar that says expand if you click on that it's gonna expand out this bar here we've got some more options um, so you can apply filters and search for photos um, that um, happened in a specific room or not in a specific room uh, or contains or do not contain specific uh, players so for an example we'll type in crimson cauldron here add that filter. If you don't want to add that filter, you want to remove it, you can simply just press that X button right there and it removes it from the list, but we want to keep it there. And I'll use Bathia for my example. It contains Bathia, all right. Hit load images again. And we'll see just like that, we it found all the photos that were taken in Crimson Cauldron and also contained Bathia, so we can click on the image there, prove that out. Taken in Crimson Cauldron contains Bathia. 
So if you're looking for photos, super quick, easy way to find photos if you know where they were taken or you have the room name handy uh, or if you know what player you're searching for. So, yeah. Uh, if you want to download this application, I'll have a link out in the description of the video. Uh, the source code is out on GitHub, so you can view every little line of code behind how this works. Um, so here's an example. You know, it's the index.js. This is the meat of the application. If you want to download it, I'll have a link out here. We have releases, so I'm on version 0.1.10. And so you just come down here, download the .exe file, and then it's a single application, so once you run the installer, It'll open up to that uh, first page that I showed you when I first started the video. You can just go ahead and use it. Um, I don't plan on updating this application anymore. Um, I'm working on uh, porting it over into a actual hosted web uh, website so that everyone can use it instead of just Windows people. But this was my first like proof of concept, uh, get it working and working well um, project. So thanks for watching. Enjoy using it. Uh, send me feedback. Uh, let me know. But thanks for watching. Peace.